Hello, boys and girls. Welcome, welcome. We're working on the grouchy ladybug, which is a story of a ladybug that is so grouchy, it goes up against all these different animals, and ultimately, in the end, has a little bit of a surprise ending. So, boys and girls, we are going to be creating a ladybug. We don't have to make it grouchy, <laughs> but we're going to work on it face on so you can see the face, the thorax, the abdomen, the six legs, the sections of the legs, the face, the, I'm sorry I said that, the antennas, and we're going to start with a pencil. And boys and girls, if you move your hand and you set your hand down on a piece of paper and you move your wrist, you're going to see that your wrist naturally moves in an arc or a half of an arc. You see that? So if you put your pencil down and you just move your hand like that, look at this. I'm already, can you see it, creating naturally that arc shape. I'm going to turn my paper and continue that back and forth line and uh, my or our hands and body and our wrist has a little bit of a trick in it to make a really nice arch. You can also just hand draw it but boys and girls just wanted to show you that trick so you could remember that you yourself can make this kind of C shape or this arc shape with just moving your hand back and forth because your wrist pivots. All right, well, I'm creating this ladybug from the face on, like as if you were another bug at the ground level. And I'm just going to draw a soft line across. There's its shell. And of course, you want to use your eraser. Now, maybe this is a little too... No, I think that's all right. That's the first step. All right. So this is basically the shell of the ladybug. And a ladybug shell is split in half. So I'm going to draw a line down. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Later I can make a new line with colored pencils or markers or whatever materials we're using. So here is one shell and here's the, the second half, the first half, the second half. And then of course, he's got a little bit of an underbody, so I'm just gonna draw the bottom half very lightly. Very lightly so I can erase lines that I don't like. Just very lightly. So, I've got an upper shell and a lower shell. And he has this funny little face down here. So I'm just going to draw a half circle and just to show a little bit of his throat area, or they call it the thorax, I'm just going to draw a little thorax here. And it's as if you're looking at him straight on. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Thorax, head, abdomen, shell. I'm going to make his face a little grouchy. Here's one section of his eye, section of his eye, eyeball, grouchy ladybug. Mine's going to be definitely a grouch. And of course he has these great antennas. One line over, one curved line over, and then just repeat it next to it. Antennas. <sighs> My grouchy ladybug. Head, thorax, abdomen, and it's the shell. Of course, a ladybug has all these fun dots. Now, because we're drawing a close up image, these dots are going to be pretty large. There's a half a dot that you can't see half of it. Here's one that you can see half a dot. Now we have six legs, three on each side. 
He looks like he's like armor. <laughs> so I'm just going to draw a light line here. Here's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I want to make them nice and thick. One, so I'm just drawing a second line. Two. Now, boys and girls, this is just the upper leg. Because we want to kind of show its bent little leg. If you do yours differently, that's fine. I'm just trying to show you how to make it look like it has a bent leg. So there's the upper leg. And I'm just going to turn it down so it looks like he's sort of standing. Turn it down, turn it down. Make it go straight down. There we go. Second part of his leg. And just copy that line. All right. And I'm just going to draw the second line down. Now I just want to make his little feet. You could make them zigzaggy, you could make them circular, you could make them like ovals, you decide, right? I'm just going to make them go out again so they look like they're bending. See how I just turn my line? And I think I'm going to make like a V shape inside his little feet. V, little V. <laughs> little V. Now boys and girls, you see, this drawing was just made up of circles, lines, and simple shapes. And there we go, the grouchy ladybug. You can create a background. Here's part of a background. This could be the ground. This could be a leaf, just a half of a leaf, because we're very, this could be a half of a hill. And we could have a sun in the background, or the moon, or part of a tree. You just decide. And maybe a cloud.
Alright boys and girls, now I have used crayons and oil pastels to act like a resist on this paper and you can see that the wax from the crayon and the wax from the oil pastel will pop off the paint and it will not soak into the areas that you have added crayons or oil pastels. They act as a resist and you can see within the sky I've added a lot of white and light blue lines and it doesn't soak into that white or light blue. When you do this process called a watercolor resist you need to use a paper towel or a rag to soak up that extra water so it doesn't warp your paper or make your paper kind of fall apart because too much water on a piece of paper is kind of dangerous. For paper it will rip or a hole may be torn into it. And boys and girls you can paint right over all your crayon work and the colors will soak into the paper right behind the crayon. It's a really interesting technique and it's really fun if you'd like to use white crayon and see it show up on the paper even after you've painted it. Thank you, boys and girls.